How long are you down to play this character? Man, I'll, you know, I'll be honest. I'm just, I'm just excited that at my age they still let me play Spider-Man. Or they ever let me play Spider-Man in the first place. You know, I'll do it to, you know, to my dying breath if they'll let me. Because I love it so much. And I love being Spider-Man. It is the best. Yuri Lowenthal has become such a definitive voice when it comes to the character of Spider-Man that I couldn't agree more. I would actually love to see him continue playing the character for years to come. Have you ever even realized how much Yuri Lowenthal comes to mind when you talk about iconic voice actor characters? He's always in the conversation and they break it down in literally 30 seconds with his IGN clip. I'm here with Yuri Lowenthal. You know him as Peter Parker Spider-Man from the Insomniac Spider-Man games. He's Smoke in Mortal Kombat 1. He's Rick the Door Technician. He's Marth in Fire Emblem. He's Marth in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. He's Ben Tennyson in the Ben 10 game. Games. He's Sasuke from the Naruto games. He's Johnny in Final Fantasy VII Remake. He was in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. He's in Genshin Impact, Bug Snacks, Return to Monkey Island. He's in Death Training as the Engineer. Did I mention he's another Spider-Man in other games like Marvel's Midnight Suns and Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3? And of course, he's in Marvel Spider-Man 2. Yuri, how are you? Really? No Superman? That's all the time we have. Of course, the memories I have of him are of playing Ben 10 because I grew up watching Cartoon Network or Sasuke from Naruto because I love anime. And the fact that he plays not one, not two, but three different versions of Spider-Man within Marvel games, I don't think it's a hot take to say that he's getting into the same echelon as Kevin Conroy when you think of voice acting for Batman. Kevin Conroy got his start as Batman back in the animated series, continued to voice Bruce Wayne and things like Batman Beyond, also the Justice League and Justice League Unlimited projects. Video game fans came to love hearing Conroy make a return in Batman Arkham Asylum back in 2009, even if Kevin might have not been the biggest fan himself. Of course, Yuri started out in the video game side, but has technically transitioned over into the animation with his short appearance in Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. I would personally love to see him continue to expand into other gaming universes, more animation, and possibly even come into a live action for some type of multiversal crossover similar to what the CW shows did. Of course, we won't know until the release of Marvel Spider-Man 2 and people complete the game, but with the success of the franchise so far, with the partnership between PlayStation, Insomniac and Marvel games, I think that we can expect to see a Marvel Spider-Man 3 or possibly another spin-off similar to the first Miles Morales title. And if that is where Yuri Lowenthal's journey as voicing Spider-Man ends in the video game side, I do believe we will see him transition into other roles further down the line or possibly in a similar fashion to Kevin Conroy eventually reprise the role at a later date. For kids who are just now getting into the Marvel Spider-Man franchise, they would have a similar experience as to what I had when it came to growing up hearing Kevin Conroy play Batman on the animated shows and series and reaching my teenage years and all of a sudden hearing him come back in the video game industry. All in all, I do believe that Yuri Lowenthal is making his definitive mark within the entirety of the Marvel Universe. I've even seen someone say that when they're reading Spider-Man comics, they imagine Yuri Lowenthal's voice coming out of Spider-Man as they read. Here's to hoping that there's more future products that he gets to play Spider-Man in years to come. And if not, Yuri, it's been a wild ride and we've enjoyed every second of it as fans. I'm going to be having a future video coming that's a bit related to Yuri's performance that we're looking to expect in Marvel Spider-Man 2. I'll give you a hint, it involves a black suit, so if you don't wanna miss it, be sure to subscribe to the channel. While you're down there, if you enjoyed, I really would appreciate it if you hit the like button, help boost the engagement and get us to new viewers, and just let me know that I'm bringing you guys content that you enjoy. Until then, you can click the card on the screen and check out my previous upload going over every new traversal feature that we know so far from Marvel Spider-Man 2 and a few that we still have questions about. As always, if you watched this far, thank you so much, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace out.